Hi guys and welcome back to the Jedi Knight of the Woods channel. It's Paul here. Thanks very much for stopping by. Um, I wanted to do something slightly different and off track with this uh, particular video. I'm just going to give you a quick overview of a couple of carry options, uh, but not necessarily ones you might think of or expect. Two different options here that I've invested in just recently that I wanted to uh, show you. Um, I quit smoking cigarettes coming up for a year ago now. I've been smoking for a number of years, um, obviously due to the health benefits and all those sorts of things. I wouldn't say I'm you know, too susceptible to them at this early age of 35, but I kind of thought to myself, you know, now's the time to give up cigarettes. Um, but what I did do is I, I've carried on smoking cigars and fine cigars, mainly Cuban Havana cigars. Um, there are going to be people out there that say, well, if you gave up one, why don't you give up all, so on and so forth. Well, you know, to be honest with you guys, it's, it's like a lot of different things. You might give up drinking on a regular basis, but you still appreciate a very, very good red wine. Um, drinking and alcohol isn't good for you either. And uh, let's face it, at the end of the day, if you come up to a busy road, not looking both ways before you cross is pretty dangerous. But you see my point, you know, there's a lot of things in life that are going to cause you harm and, and uh, you know, do you some damage, that sort of thing. It's my choice. I appreciate a good cigar. So two things that I've invested in here. Um, first of all is this Pelican Micro Series case. This is the Pelican 1020 of the Micro Case Series. Um, and a uh, cracking little case. You'll probably see a review of Cutlery Lover's uh, sort of attempts at smashing one of these things up, a destruction test. Um, and he drove over his thing twice or three times at fairly high speeds as well and uh, all he managed to do was just pop the lid open. Uh, so let me put that on top there and just bring that into frame again. So this is the Pelican Micro case. This is um, apparently, what, four and three quarter inches in length, internal dimensions, by about two and three quarter inches, by about one and a three quarter inches, something like that. Thing is, when uh, when I'm investing, you know, anywhere between 10 English pounds or sort of 12, 15 dollars, up to 20 English pounds and 30 English or, or American dollars on these fine cigars, the last thing I want to do is have them uh, get crushed or ruined. So I thought to myself, well, for the sake of 10 pounds, I'll invest in a in a decent case. Um, it's not a beautiful leather Davidoff cigar case. It's practical. It's purpose-built for destruction uh, or, or keeping content safe from destruction. Um, so that's why I've gone for it, guys. This one was bought from Haney Haynes. Absolutely fantastic service um, from them. And cost me about £12, I think it was. Dual clip right at the front. Opens like this. It's got a sealable uh, rubber ring through there, or container, should I say. And sitting in there at the moment, for those of you that love your cigars, I've got a selection. Uh, I've got the San Cristobal. El Principe, um, which is a beautiful, beautiful medium to strong cigar. Then I've got a slightly thicker gauge, Hoyo de Monterey, is that sort of a short Robusto size, I think, something along those lines. Uh, then I've got the Monte Cristo number no. five, and also a very, very similar size to that. Uh, for anybody that fancies trying this, uh, but has never tasted Havana before, I'm not gonna give them one of my good ones. So I've got a Jose Piedra Petit Cazadores for them to try if they want. I actually don't mind these things. I know there's been some pretty crappy reviews out there and quality is a bit uh, hit and miss, but you know, for a regular smoke, can't go wrong with those, I don't think. Um, so there you go, there's four of uh, some of my favorites in there. Um, this thing will keep them uh, absolutely watertight and hopefully safe from any destruction. So uh, I'm gonna take that one out into the woods with me when I go out. I do enjoy the, uh, the open air ability to sit in the woods listen to the leaves rustling around me in peace and tranquility and a decent cigar is absolutely fantastic. There's no distractions, there's no TVs, there's no telephones going off, um, there's no people, there's no cars, there's no dogs barking, children screaming. That's the time for me to enjoy a nice cigar. The second thing I've got here was an absolute steal for me. This was um, bought from the Cigars website. Uh, that's c.gars.co.uk uh, it's a site that I go, go to quite regularly. There's uh, three that I visit on a regular basis. Um, and there's a team of people that work for the, uh, the company that are amazing. You know, they, they really have got um, the customer's best interests at heart. And uh, it's run by a guy called Mitch, I think. 
Um, and I'll tell you a story about that. I, I ordered a cigar online, uh, which I'm quite happy to do on the odd occasion. Uh, I do like to go in and, and feel them, touch them, um, you know, get a feel for how long they've been stored and speak to the, uh, the um, custodians of those cigars. But sometimes I'll order the odd one on the, off the internet if I just want to get a feel for flavour, etc. And the one I got through had a split cap on it. So as soon as I phoned Mitch up, I said to him, awfully sorry to tell you this, but one of the cigars that you sent through to me had a split cap. And the guy, before I had it, even had a chance to say anything else, the guy said, listen, just tear the cap off of where it is, smoke the cigar that you've got. If you get some enjoyment out of it, absolutely fantastic. But as of today, you've got another equivalent of the same cigar on its way in the post to you, free of charge, right this second. So get that one through, cap it as you would normally, and I hope you enjoy that one as well. Now that, guys, is what I call service, right? That's Cigars Limited. They've got uh, a number of different shops. The website, again, is c.gars.co.uk. I hope I got that bit right. So this, for £10, 10 English pounds, full aluminium construction. It's not going to be totally bomb-proof, but, again, this is a cracking little case I came with in the camo pattern, of all things. Um, so I just thought I'd show you this as well. Clip uh, lock system on the front there. Nice clasp, folds down. And... Uh, there you have it, that opens up nicely. The difference between this case and the other one, um, you can only really fit four cigars in here, but you can fit the slightly larger versions, like up to a Churchill, or maybe a Lonsdale, this does go up to eight inches, so anything from sort of seven inches long, you can get some good, nice big cigars in there. But here is the humidor. It doesn't have a hygrometer on there, so you can't actually sort of tell definitively what the, um, the, uh, the, the climate is like inside there, but the humidity, should I say, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, for a travel humidor for 10 quid, I think that's a bit of a bargain. It's got the foam inserts. Uh, sitting in there at the moment, I've got a, a Partagas, um, great brand they are, Partagas Mille Fleur, uh, which is a box of 10 I picked up at the airport in Duke Freeze for 20 quid. I've got another San Cristobal El Principe. This is one of my absolute favourites at the moment. It's a beautiful, beautiful cigar. I think it's about 38, 42, something like that, ring gauge, and about four inches, four and a quarter inches long. But it's got the most amazing flavour to that, guys. Really love it and highly recommend it. People don't tend to go for these a lot. They'll go for the Cohibas or the Monte Cristo, so on and so forth. That is a cracking cigar. Um, one I've got that I've never tried before is the Hoyo de Monterey. This is uh, a special limited edition one, aged since 2007. Picked that up, it's a slightly larger ring gauge, maybe about 46, I think, something like that, um, and about five inches long. Really looking forward to trying that one as well. Um, the other thing I've got in here is a Cohiba Siglo 2, and they're a great little smoke, uh, you know, if you've only got half an hour, 40 minutes to spare. Um, you never want to rush these cigars, I'll tell you that much, chaps, but, uh, and chap S's, mustn't forget the chap S's. There's a lot of people out there like uh, Smoking Hot Cigar Chick, she knows what she's talking about. Um, you know, but a great cigar. So that one is for maybe when I might be going on holiday, going abroad, something like that, and I want to keep them a little bit more, um, you know, temperate, make sure that they're kept in the right conditions. So uh, there you have it, guys. Um, maybe a bit of a surprise. Yes, I am into cigars. I don't drink an awful lot, maybe once a week, if anything. Um, and I only smoke these things uh, maybe when, when the occasion dictates it, every six to eight, eight weeks or something like that. I give myself a real good treat. And there you have it, the two, uh, two cigar carry. Pelican case and the, uh, the travel humidor. Uh, subscriptions would be great guys. Any positive comments if you've got them around smoking, <laughs> um, please feel free. Any negativity will be uh, ignored or deleted. And I look forward to seeing you in another video. Thank you.